guys? Slings coming at you. So this is just going to be a random BSWS. I'm going to put together a bunch of stuff. You're going to see clips from stuff I taped weeks ago. I wasn't going to put together any more videos until after the tournament, but now knowing when the deadline is, it's still two weeks away. I figure I bring in a new show this week. It's just going to be a bunch of random stuff. So, Anyways, what I'm going to start with is a custom Green Goblin that I made. Um, it's from the Ultimate line. So this will be a little mini review on this guy. Ultimate Green Goblin. Let me just zoom in on him a little bit. He's a combination of the Abomination figure, which it's only his head, and the World War Hulk body. So sure. just some of the changes I've made. Besides the obvious, I painted them with a jungle green and a purple. Uh, I put some spikes on them, and I'm not really that happy with them. I need to add more, maybe. If you look in the comics, sometimes he's got a lot, and sometimes he doesn't have any. I kind of modeled this guy a little bit after the Death of Spider-Man books. That's why the horns are a different color. Usually, like in the game and in the older comics, the horns are green. But in that death book, he's got, uh, like, grayish, I don't know, it's a different color. And, uh, actually, I'll show you a picture in a little bit. But some other stuff I did to the Abomination face was I sculpted a new nose on there. Just made it a little bit bigger, more like Norman Osborn's nose. I shaved down the ears a little bit. Uh, and then, like I said, the horns. Oh, let me get that back in focus. Put some horns on his back, put two up front, and then the two main horns right here. There's two little ones right there too. I also shaved down the whole abomination head, took off all the bumps, tried to get the eyebrows a little bit better, but painted the teeth white and the eyes red. And I added a couple of his little Fu Manchu hanging things. I don't even know what those are, but if you look in the comics, he's got them. So just a quick comparison, this is the Spider-Man I kind of want to use with them. If you guys watched MTIT this week with Bug, uh, he showed a Spider-Man, which I think is perfect. I want to pick that one up, but it's hard to find that guy for a good price. So this is the one I borrowed from my nephew. Uh, I'll show you this probably later on in some old footage. Uh, just another size comparison to the McFarlane Spider-Man. And then I think a Spider-Man that might actually go good as being an ultimate Spider-Man is the Urban Legends one. Oh, he's not going to stand up for me. Oh, there he goes. So he's pretty good because he's shorter and the eyes are pretty good. But he's still too tall and lanky. Need a little guy to be the ultimate Spider-Man, kind of like this guy. But anyways, this one isn't even mine. You know, so I gotta find something to replace him with. So I'll most definitely be recreating the Death of Spider-Man one day. I'll make a video of it someday, but that's mainly why I wanted this guy. I, I'm not gonna make any of the other Ultimate characters or anything like that. I just mostly wanted uh, Green Goblin and Spider-Man. I mean, that's mostly what I want. The only other things I really want to do to him is, besides add some more spikes, I want to make a, a cloak for him, the purple cloak he has. If you've seen him in the beginning of the Ultimate Spider-Man comics, you'll see he had a cloak. And uh, put some flames on him. I also have a cool effect I got for his eyes to make like the flame coming off, but I'm not going to show that yet. I might use that in a video. And as far as the articulation goes, everything remains. Uh, the head... As you guys know, on the Ultimate Hulk goes way up. So that's really cool. Get him in a really cool pose that way. Um, and then he looks down all the way, which is really cool. He's still got the, you know, the ball joints, the swivel. He's got everything the World War Hulk has, so I'm not even going to really go into it all. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you think there's anything I can do to improve him. Um, like I said many times before is I'm not a customizer and I'm not a reviewer So any tips you guys can give me is always welcome. This figure is made possible by Anthony and Justin uh, I hooked up with them over on the Facebook page and they gave me some trades and actually I didn't even have to trade for that Abomination my man Justin just gave that to me. So I've I'm really really appreciative of it um, You know his Abomination broke and he's like 
he saw that I was going to make an ultimate Green Goblin, and he's like, dude, I got that abomination if you need him. Sent them right off to me. I didn't, I didn't even ask for them. You know, that's just the love of the community. So I really appreciate that. And I made a good trade with my buddy, uh, Anthony. So that's how I got the body, the World War Hulk body. So appreciate it, guys. Messing around right now, trying to put this scene together. I'm not quite done yet. I'm going to make a video of this later. I got you covered. I haven't done one of those for a while, so... Uh, big thanks to JRA Nightmare hooking me up with that anti-venom. He also hooked me up with a Thanos Select. Very cool, man. You know, community always coming through. This this anti-venom going on eBay is easily 30, if not higher, all the way up to 60 bucks. I've seen them for, if not even higher than that. And JR hooked me up. I mean, damn good price, dude. So got to thank him for that. You know, like he always says, man community love it's it's a good thing so uh, what I'm doing here is I'm playing around with some of these lights I seen them in a blue devils video one of his videos he had uh, they're like finger lights they go on your finger see so very cool man so I don't know if I'll end up using it in that video that I'm gonna make later but I do have some plans for these little lights they're really bright and very cool um, somebody's been posting some pictures on Facebook, the one and only, very, very cool. I think I got that name right. I might have got it wrong, but, man, that guy does some awesome work, and I think he uses those lights or something like them to make his pictures just pop. I mean, very cool. So, I'm going to be experimenting with these. Got them at the dollar store for a, for a buck. Messing around a little bit more. People keep asking me about this Spider-Man figure. He's from the Spectacular Spider-Man cartoon, so is that Venom. The articulation on these guys are horrible, but the Spider-Man has a little bit more. Uh, these are both on loan from my nephew. He keeps asking me, when am I getting my Spider-Man and Venom back? I told him, let me mess around with it for a little bit. But, like I said, the articulation is not that great, but I like the way the figure looks. It kind of has a cartoonish look to it, but I think it really represents the Ultimate Spider-Man really well. And I got some stuff planned for that, so keep a lookout for that. Pretty cool figures, and I'm just messing around with these lights once again. And I use anything and everything to prop up my displays or, you know, I've seen Bug uses his spices, I use my sandals. I use a bunch of stuff, so whatever is lying around me I usually use. Just try to keep the shot in frame and you won't ever see anything like that. I need to finish this building too. Putting together some pictures for Facebook. All the props you see here come from Buffy figures. I really like that guitar and amp. So I finally got in some turtles. This is actually the second set I got. The first one I got that I kept in package. Um, these I opened up. The packaging were worse on these, so I opened these ones up. Uh, everybody's jumping on the turtles right now. I got hyped up because of the comic book, so made me go buy a set, and then I found two sets from Mad Cheap, so I bought them both, um, and I'm damn happy I did. These guys are awesome. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that second set yet, but might paint it, might trade it, might just keep it in package, I don't know, but anyways. So the last thing I want to talk about is New York Comic Con. I will be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, Friday night is when I come in, so anybody that wants to hang on that day, you know, let me know, and we'll definitely hook up and do something. And then Saturday I want to score a ticket to the con, just a one-day ticket, and then Sunday afternoon is when I leave. So anybody that knows about a one-day pass, uh, you know, hit me up and let me know. Uh, I am staying at the New Yorker, which is I think only like three or four blocks away, according to Ty, I'm not exactly sure, but... Anybody that wants to hook up and meet me at the hotel or whatever, is feel free. I don't think I'm very far from the con at all. Um, but the last thing I want to do is show myself on camera. I've never done that before, and I figure if I'm going to go to the con and meet some of you guys, you need to know what I look like. So, What's up, guys? Slings coming at you. So this is me. So anybody I'm meeting up with over at the con, now you know what to look for. <laughs> I'll be wearing my ACBA shirt on Saturday, so keep an eye out for that. 
Sometimes I rock a beard, sometimes I don't. I wear a hat a lot. So anyways, anybody wants to get a hold of me though, just PM me and I'll give you my personal number. Just don't be handing that thing out to nobody. And, uh, you know, that's about it. So I'm looking forward to meeting a lot of you guys that I've met on Facebook and YouTube. And hope to see you there. All right, peace.